Ministry of Home Affairs has ordered states and union territories to reserve the national supply of liquid oxygen, including the existing stock exclusively for medical purposes. In a statement yesterday, the ministry said that all liquid oxygen manufacturing units shall be allowed to maximize their capacity and supply the crucial commodity to the government for medical use. The country's long request has finally been addressed following a huge outrage over the US wavering on providing vital supplies to India when the country is facing an unprecedented spike in COVID-19 cases. The United States has said it will immediately provide the raw material required to ramp up production of the Covishield coronavirus vaccine by the Serum Institute of India. The raw material for the vaccine along with other medical supplies and protective gear will be sent to India on an urgent basis. Germany will send oxygen and medical aid to India in the coming days to help it tackle its COVID-19 crisis, its foreign minister said. German Chancellor Angela Merkel on Sunday expressed her sympathy over the terrible suffering that the pandemic had brought to India. Germany stands in solidarity with India and is urgently preparing a mission of support, she said. Shapurji Palonji Group has reportedly filed a review petition in Supreme Court against its March 26th verdict in the dispute between Tata Sons and Cyrus Mistry. The development is yet to be confirmed by either party. On March 26, the Apex Court had set aside the NCLAT order from December 2019 asking the Tata conglomerate to reinstate Cyrus Mistry as the executive chairman of the company. Air India will bring around 600 oxygen concentrators on its two US India flights in the next two days, aviation industry sources said. These oxygen concentrators have been ordered by private entities, the sources mentioned. Various hospitals across the country continue to grapple with a severe shortage of medical oxygen on Sunday, even after receiving emergency supplies. Engineering exporters body EEPC on Sunday said imposition of restrictions by states to contain rising coronavirus cases could affect the exports and the worst impacted would be MSMEs. The Engineering Export Promotion Council said while recovery in the last few months of the fiscal year offers a ray of hope for the sector, the rising number of COVID-19 cases poses a downward risk. The Prime Minister's office has stated that PM Cares Fund has given approval for setting up 551 dedicated pressure swing absorption medical oxygen generation plants inside public health facilities across the country. This will be done in order to boost the availability of oxygen in hospitals that are dealing with the worsening COVID-19 situation.